so pleased I've got to meet you because I am one of those people that's obsessed by the show as well. And I also think, you know when you watch Gogglebox, you, you realize that you do exactly the same as everyone else. So it's such a brilliant idea. Where did it come from in the first place? Uh, well, Tim, our head of development, uh, originally had the idea, and then Tanya and the team worked out what that actually meant in reality and created this extraordinary show about by finding such fantastic characters and making it work each week. It's a very hard show to make because everything has to be filmed and edited within a week, and yet it looks like something that's made over several weeks, that quality of editing, because it's really all in the craft skill of putting it together. Yeah, I mean, and each show creates one of those water cooler moments when you're talking about what people were talking about about a show. So it's, it is brilliant from that point of view. Did you expect it to be as successful and as well received? Um, no, because it's quite hard to sort of expect that from the off. But I think I knew when we were creating it, I knew that if it was funny, people would watch it. But what we got was a whole lot more because I didn't realise we'd get so much interesting comment, so much opinion on the news and politics, but also the fact that television still has the ability to make us la uh, laugh and cry, and, and cry in the way that, you know, there were grown men on Gogglebox bawling at some things. And so I, I sort of thought if it, if it was funny, it would, it would do okay, but we got a whole lot more, I think, really. That, that was the thing that was unexpected. Um, who's your favourites? Everyone has favourites. We can't say. We oh, can't you're possibly kidding. say. We love them all we love equally. Them all. Oh, I do we like, them. I like the two guys and their dad. I think they're funny. The they're Siddiquis, so, they're wonderful. So funny. But all of them are great and, and they bring a lot and, and we're thankful of that. Um, how do you choose them in the first place? Um, we literally walked the length and breadth. Steph and Dom slightly different. They were on a show that we already did at Studio Lambert, but we walked the length and breadth of, of, of towns and, and we found them. And, and amazingly, they agreed to do it. We didn't want people who, would, who wanted to be on TV. We wanted to find people that were just great characters that when we told them about the idea, they'd want to do the show. I mean, Leon was game. When our two APs walked into that bridge club, he wanted to be, he wanted to be on telly. His wife did not, and she took a lot of persuading June. But thankfully, they both agreed to do it. Oh, I loved it when he had his cream cracker served to him the other <laughs> night on a plate. Um, and one more thing as well: do you um, do you film? Do you just give them shows to watch, or they just watch them back to back, or is it is that a secret you cannot divulge? No, it's not. We give them shows. They watch them live. They watch them on catch up. They watch them if we're lucky enough to get ahead they, they you know they, there's a there's a mixture of things they do um and to get through the amount they do but they work really hard i mean they watch back to back pretty much six hours a night do they have a remote camera they yeah they have two remote cameras in the room crew is in a bathroom or a bed bedroom or a toilet or somewhere else but um they, we're with them for about six or seven hours and and they forget we're there and and what you see is what you get you really are part of their families yes, as well. yeah yeah well, well, Really brilliant. Well done. Congratulations. Look forward to uh, the, the future of Google Books as well. Thank you very much, Jenny. I'm looking Thank forward you. to seeing this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Tune in on Friday. Yeah, yeah. No, we will do. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much. Thanks.